everybody, and welcome to the 58th Mobile Cotton Bowl, Notre Dame and Texas A&M. An absolutely gorgeous January the 1st. Happy New Year's, everybody, and here is the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame as they take the field here in Dallas at the Cotton Bowl, still in search of that national title for 1993. Fred Johnson to return the kickoff. Kickoff of Terry Venetilia. And we are underway. Four yards deep in the end zone. He takes the gamble to run it out and only gets to the nine-yard line. Notre Dame starts from their own eight-yard line first down. And the handoff is to Beckton. Beckton over the right side has an opening. And he is going to pick up 12 yards. The white, a couple of changes. And that means that Akers is starting at left guard. The big change, though, is Lance Johnson. Only his fourth start. Hasn't played a quarter this year as a great center, Tim Ruddy. And an abdominal strain, he is out for the game. Kevin McDougal, Beckton Zellers, Johnson, Lake Johnson, and Oscar McGrath. Notre Dame first down at their own 20-yard line. And here is Beckton again as he cuts back. And that is an excellent front seven. They will have to stop, though, the rushing attack of Notre Dame. In the secondary, the man to watch is All-American Aaron Glenn, number 31. He is at left corner. It is second down. Ball game just underway. A&M won the toss. They defer to the second half. And here is Beckton with a hole on the near side. And he is cut down. It's going to be an issue today. The give is to the first back through Ray Zellers. And he is going to pick up the first down. Lake Dawson and Derek Mays are the wide receivers. They're split away. Play action fake. Wanting to go deep out of time and back to the 25-yard line by Antonio Shorter. Especially the way they've been running the football. Play action fake. Right. Here's the reverse. Michael Miller around the corner down the sideline, and the reverse will pick up the first down. And the third first down in the opening drive for Notre Dame. And they go back to back. He starts outside, cuts back inside. All right, that's the reason I think the Texas A&M needed to take a timeout. Second down. And here is Ray Zellers. Third down and three. Now what happened? Back, he can shift out. Foul. The defense is offside. The five yards results in the first down. 43 yard line of Texas a &M. This is the opening drive of the Cotton Bowl. And we have no score. Let's set him up the middle. And uh, check it down and long. The Irish stay on the ground. Here is Beckton. And it is Sam Adams who makes the tackle. Play action fake over the middle. Pass is complete Derek May. First down. First down, Miller and Johnson, wide receivers near side, 22-yard line. Here's Beckton. Just a tackle, hit, spin, 19-yard line. He played a knee. This is just a lot of problems for him. Yeah. Thirteenth play of the opening drive. Here is the option and the keep and the cutback and the touchdown, Notre Dame. inside of the upright. And Notre Dame now leads seven to nothing. Everything has been inside thus far. And me, now what a great opportunity. Take a look at the block there by Akers. Right on Adams. He actually takes two men out of the play. And that enables McDougal to cut up the field and get in for the touch. Number 34, Leland McElroy of Texas A&M. Number one in the nation in kickoff returns. He has three of them this year. Touchdowns, and here he is, 20 yard line stumble. And, and a fumble on the snap, and Corey will be swarmed under. Corey Floyd could not come up with the snap. And the pitch is 
to Thomas. And he is wrapped up at the 15 yard line. And all five members of that line are first team all Southwest Conference. And a look at the backs and receivers. And you notice Greg Hill and halfback. Well, we'll see Rodney Thomas, who we saw in that last play. We'll also see Liam McElroy. Pulega pump screen, pump fake screen left side, and he's Thomas who has it. He cuts up field, he spins his way into the first down. First down, 36 yard line. Play out to Pedro, right back is the pitch right side. That's the tight end, Greg Ford. Green Devils using their tight end in their game against them. I was too struck getting a couple of balls there. Play out to Pedro, to Greg Hill, deep on the little snow drop. Or was it called the rebound? No, almost intercepted. And Thomas is the tailback. And Thomas the ball here. He's got the first down and more. 44-yard line, Notre Dame. Senior and a junior for the Aggies. And it's a first down, 45-yard line, Notre Dame. Notre Dame leads 7 0 He passes the plate. Far side, this is to the fullback, Rose. He lost his footing, and the game breaker, Leland McElroy, is in the slot on the right side, and here is the reverse to McElroy. He gets around the corner and down the sideline. He's got the first down. The Valley stands his hit. Now first down at the 13. Red Hill. Fifth play of the drive. And back to the second five. Here's the flat right side. Explosion into the end zone is Frank Hill. Mark the tie. Three minutes and 58 seconds. Will attempt the extra point for the tie, and it is gone. Credit to Calvin Collins and Jason Matthews for opening up that hole. The only man who's there is Covington. And as a result of Greg Hill's run, Texas A&M now has tied it at seven. Greg <laughs> Johnson to return the kick. Couple of yards deep, he is out to the five. The kid, he's got a 40-yard average, 20, 25, 30. And then shot to the 31-yard line. First down, 32-yard line. Play after play. Deep over the middle. And it is incomplete to Derek May. Second down and 10, 32 yard line. That's the lateral, that's a backward pass, but it is complete. It is Beckett, he cuts back. A flag is down, another flag is down, and Beckett is down. A legal block in the back by the offense. 10 yard penalty enforcing the spot of the foul. Repeat second down. Beckham, and he spins out to the 22 yard line. Third down and 21. Black throw to play. McDougal throws near side like Dawson. They'll call it off. Oh, foul. False start on the offense. The down remains the same. It's this way. And here is Beckham with a straight shot up the middle. Across the 25 to the 26 yard line. The improved game is the one who is the pretty catch. They have not had a kicking game all year long. And this one will go to the 40 yard line of Texas AM. And the Aggies have the ball at their own 40 yard line. And they come out throwing and the pass is completed at the 50 to Brian Mitchell. And he certainly knows right there. <laughs> so would you like to do the third quarter? Starters from a year ago are about to play action first. Deep over the middle. This pass is caught by Mitchell. First down, AM. Greg Hill and McElroy are both in the line. And way overthrow. Just today. Second down and ten. We are tied at seven with two seconds left of the first period. Here's the middle screen. Tip there, boy, and it is incomplete. Third down and 10, six seconds left in the third. 
Gets up the middle, has it get rid of it, he throws it away. That's been a truly attempt to kick into the wind, and 40 yards, there are some short 40 yard kicks into the wind. This could turn out to be beneficial for Rocky. Officially 39 yards low, it is blocked. It is covered by Shawnee Case, who was the holder. But Notre Dame will take over into the first quarter. Notre Dame 7, Texas A&M 7. Same first down, their own 36-yard line. Ball game tied at 10 as we start the second quarter. Geller's the ball carrier. He's the fullback. Randy Kinder, the ball carrier, is the slot on the right side, third down and 12. in motion and to give it to Rodney Thomas second down and nine play action fake here's the pass and it is incomplete he's got a good two third down and nine fully to throw and it is incomplete and once again and Notre Dame with a return good catch Taken and dropped at the 40-yard line, a scramble for the ball. And Notre Dame at their own 39-yard line, first down. And Duncan cuts to the outside. His eyes about leaving. I mean, he's looking forward to the opportunity, but uh, played at Notre Dame, coaches, coaches at Notre Dame. And he's going to miss it, no question about it. Oscar McBride, but he's struggling for whatever reason this season. And Beckham gets the call. Flies to the left side, and he has 10 carries in the ball game. Play action face. Pressure from the back side, here's the foul. Antonio Shorter on his third down and 13. Ray Zellers is the fullback, and Lee Beckton is the tailback, and McDougal rolls to the right. We have a flag. The pass is caught by Dawson. They're going to say, no, he was out of bounds. And he pops it straight up. And it comes down at the 20-yard line. Takes an A&M bounce out to the 23. And they're in. And here is the mobile cotton bowl. We are tied at seven. And we should see a face mask call, but we are not going to see it. Good long call. Brian Adams reaches out. Gets the ear flap instead. And it's second down and again. Bullet to throw. Lots of time. Scrambles. Now he throws. Pass is complete. Tight end. Greg Short. First down. First down. And going deep and overthrowing everybody. And Tony Harrison could not get to it. He is 78 yards. And again, his head coach said, we have to have a great game from the quarterback. Play action, pressure, pass this time. It's the complete right side to keep Clark Smell. Eight and a half minutes time remaining second quarter. Ball game tied at seven. A bobble on the exchange, pulling in to reach back to cover it. They do the quick snap, the quarterback sneak by Pulling, and it is going to be close. Greg Hill is the tailback. And he comes to the outside, cuts back at the 50, slides just a little bit. When you get in there, you've got to make something happen in a hurry because you're not going to be in there very long. And here he is again. He is in along the sideline. And offset backfield. Hill to the right side, but Notre Dame was waiting for him. Long count, and we'll have a flag. Second and 14. Good protection over the middle. Pass is complete. Tony Harrison at the 24-yard line of Notre Dame.
Rodney Thomas. He has the straight strength. Todd Mitchell. And they will set up four on every run. They don't bring the linebackers that up. Second down and five. And here is Thomas again, close to the first down. He will spot it at about the 15. He's that kind of a young man. And this time he is nailed at the 15 yard line. Play action play. Has it in wide open touchdown. Decron Smith on fourth and one. Welcome. Normally, a very conservative head coach has become a riverboat gambler here in the Cotton Bowl. We'll be back with a kickoff in a moment. The Aggies lead. Aggies to take the lead. Cecilia kicking off. Wind has died down. Johnson takes it at the two. Hits to the ten. Fifteen. Leads to the twenty. And down at the twenty-yard line. He's the offensive coordinator for the Irish in the Cotton Bowl. Play action play. Here's a fake pass far side, and it is no good. And here's the reverse. And it's Miller with a flag down, and Miller is down. There, he was waiting. Dellers is the remaining back. McDougal to throw. Fires over the middle. It is pulled down by Derek Mays, and he is pulled down. Big first down for the Irish. 12 yards, first down, 32. Beckton jumps to the outside. Cuts back, makes another move. Has nine yards, maybe eight. Second down and two, 40 yard line. We've had movement on the right side, and that was Ryan Leahy. Good ball. Ball start on the offense. Down remains the same. Play action, fake, is pressure. Flips the tackle. Dumps it off, and it's dropped. He has two sacks to the ball game. Pressure from the backside. There he is. And Carter is there again with an assist from Sam Adams. This is the return man. Pretty good kick. I just don't understand why he's back there that far. It just doesn't make any sense. I realize that Gerald had a 66-yard punt before. It's really been a tough job for him. And the Irish has missed. Tim Ruddy he is out with an abdominal strain. And here is Greg Hill for the Aggies. And Anthony Peterson for the Irish is in on defense. He made that last tackle. The young man that had the injury in the first game against Northwestern. Here's the handoff to Greg Hill. And they'll take the countdown to the halftime. But to wrap up the story on Anthony Peterson, the knee injury tried to come back five weeks later against Pittsburgh, hurt it again and out for the rest of the season. But back here for the Cotton Bowl game, it is halftime here at the 58th Mobile Cotton Bowl in Dallas as we start the new year, and we're glad that you could share the holidays with us. And the Aggies will be receiving Liam McElroy leads the nation in kickoff returns number 34. And Blue Holtz is sending the message, and that is we're going to kick to the deep man. This is the other returner, Billy Mitchell. He is to the 20, the 25, out to the 30, still going, 35 out of bounds, around the 36. Greg Hill and McElroy are the split back. Pump fake screen right side, it is incomplete. Or in the backfield for the Aggies. And here's Hill, right side. And he is stopped. Throw. Again, good protection pass is incomplete. And here is the boot under pressure. And it is a short one. 14 yards. The Aggies lead by 7 14 to 7. Notre Dame's first opportunity in offense for the second half. They start at their own 49 yard line. And the fake in the teeth by McDougal. The 
to give us to the first back crew that is Ray Zellers, and he's going to pick up the first down. First down, 39 yard line of the Aggies. We have today. Dead ball, false start on the offense. The give is to Zellers. Defense offside. Five yards, go first down. First and ten. And here is Beckham to the 33. <laughs> Fight his way to the first. And here is Zellers again. Surely we can get ten. When we take a look at the numbers, that two of them over six yards today. Very impressive. And the out to the pitch. Beckham has it. He's to the 20, the 15. Has the first down stop. As he'll lead. First down, 15 yard line. And here is Beckham to the right side. Towards the end of the first half, he thought he might be getting a bit tired. Well, he has his second win. That's it for the hour. And here is the pitch to Beckton. Six to tackle, six to another one. He's inside the five and the out of About two and a half, yep, but he is there. And here's the full half. And a change at quarterback. That means that Paul Fahler is the quarterback with the team formation. Scores for Notre Dame. And what Blue Oak said he was going to do, the Irish did, cast for the top. And it is good. We are tied 14 14 in the 58 Bowl Cotton Bowl. When in doubt, run behind your All American offensive tackle. Look at number 75 clearing the way. Zellers comes in for the two yard score that ties the game at 14. Kevin Pendergast to kick off for Notre Dame. And Billy Mitchell is the return man. Across the 20, the 25 still going to about the 28 yard line. Oh. But he said the neatest things about his mother that I'll give you after this play. Showing early signs of Heisman Trophy possibility. Here's the fake. And the throw off of the fake is complete. And here is Chris Gross. Notre Dame 40 yard line. Ball game tied 14 14. particular down. The quarterback sees this time and work for Corey Fuller. He has just under nine minutes left to go in the third quarter. Play action fake. Has a man wide open and has goes the fullback in his second reception of the ball game. And he has got right at the first down mark. Tie ball game. 14-14. Just to the outside. Another move to the outside. He's to the 10, the 5, and he is down around the three-yard line. The fake to Hill, the reverse, and the stop. It is Hill, right side, and he is pulled down. Just two different tries here. He might come back with a standard run and then maybe go to play off for a fourth down. Rodney Collins over the top. Touchdown, AM. Julius is the kicker. And it is good. And the center on the staff.
this one is going to go out of bounds. They'll bring it out to the 35 yard line. And the handoff is to Lee Beckton. Beckton cuts back and is brought down at the 50 yard line. Thank you very much for joining me down here. Don, great pleasure to see you. Great, thank you. And here's the fake of the handoff and the keeper again by Kevin McDougall. And that's the second time to have a season of more than a thousand yards. And here he comes again. Steps in and short. Play action fake. All alone in the flat is Ray Zeller. 12 yard line. Blake Johnson comes across in motion. Back to the ball carry. To the six-yard line. Now we go with the full half. And Taylor is the quarterback. And the ball carry is Jeff Burr. And again, the full half back here. Mark Edwards scores. Touchdown. Answering touchdown. The snap. The hold is there. Almost blocked, but it's good. We are tied 21-21, but there's a flag down. Well, they got it. They have to call Sam Adams. Take a look at they're gonna have to. Here's the replay of the touchdown. We'll get back. When we come back, we'll see that Sam Adams ran into the kicker. I think I'll never know. He's right in front. How does he miss this? Goes underneath his armpit and he collides with Pendergrass. We're so close. How did you miss that? So the kickoff comes for the 40-yard line. And McElroy takes it a yard deep. The leading kickoff returner in the nation. Almost breaks it. And the Aggies have the ball at their own 33-yard line. Greg Hill is warmed under. You know, he's going to play. Here's the fake. He wanted to set up the screen, and now he's throwing it away. Mark Clifton. Hill is offset to the right. And he blocked and put a throw. And they're going to say yes. It is caught it out of bounds. Brian Mitchell is down. I don't know if that necessarily makes up for his other two drops, but at this point, I'm sure Fuller's grateful. It's going to help anyway. And the fullback. Play action fake to Hill. Now pressure steps away. Backside pressure. And he has finally wrestled down. Third and 14. in the secondary of enough for the first down. James Bennett was a kick and he failed this one deep. It sticks to the ground at the four. It is going to be down at the one yard line. Going out of the end zone, the pass is complete to Lake Johnson. Into the third, we're tied 21-21. We'll be back after these messages from your local station. The handoff is to the fullback, Ray Zeller. They start to fill some of the running lanes as they did in the first half when they're able to stop the running game a little bit. It is a first down in Beckham. Tries to battle his way back. of the reverse back to the end zone. Cannot scramble out of the ground of Sam Adams. Four sacks for the Aggies in the ball game. Third down, 14. Here comes the blitz. He has to throw it. It's the middle screen to Dawson. He comes back over. He's got the first down down the sideline. Lake Dawson still with the ball outside the 40. You may remember this play. Take a look at what he said after the kick. And he first says that he is going to be tremendous if he can get drafted by a team that throws the ball 30 to 40 times a game. He's that good of a receiver. Edwards and Beckton are in the backfield. 
at your face. And it is incomplete. Kevin Smith now a starter for the Dallas Cowboys and Pat Thomas, a former All-Pro. Dead ball, false start on the offense. He is not in the huddle. It's third down and 12. First down to the and there is the idol. That's what Doctor was talking about. And there's the noise as the Aggie fans respond. And he goes deep into coverage, and it's almost intercepted. Beckton is pulled down. Lee Beckton gets the call. There's a blitz up the middle, and the pass is incomplete. The nation of pilots, I'll be interested to see if Kieran Collins does return one. Now with the catch, it is short, and they stay away from it again. It's going to roll to the 10-yard line. Neither of the previous contests were terribly competitive, but this one certainly is. This is great. And here is Hill waiting on his blockers, and so much in practice, it's great fun to play the game. <laughs> Hill to throw the pass is complete to Gross. A scramble for the ball. It is out of bounds. Third down and 13. Well, his pass is complete to Hill. He is wrapped up at the 15-yard line. James Bennett is kicking a high pass. He pulls it down. He gets it away. <laughs> Taken at the 40-yard line by Miller. Straight down up the middle. He's to the 40. 35, 30, 25, and out of bounds. 3.55, time remaining. And here is Beckton. He gets around the corner, cuts back, spins across the fifth goal. Second down and short. Here comes big pressure up the middle, trying to get to the outside, outstanding play. Boston is wide to the left. And again, big pressure up the middle, the handoff is to Zellers, and he is going to come up short of the first down. 21 yard line, a kick of 31 yards. He lives by the foot. You die by the foot. And it is up. It is good. Oh, that was close. Just 
inside the right up front. But he's got to feel awfully good about that. Out to around the 31 of the 32 yard line as a field goal this year for 45 yards away. And they stay on the ground. Here is Thomas across the 40. Ball is loose. Notre Dame may have it. They do. Second turnover of the ball game. The Irish recover. Strip them of it. And that's what Taylor made the recovery. And as we come back, Beckett is the ball carrier. Let's make this point for everyone that's been watching today. Texas A&M belongs on the national scene. They have certainly played well. Third down and 10. And it is back there, and he just keeps going. He's deep, and I There's realize no return man. the kicking is bad. And it is going to go into the end zone. Unfathomable. From the shotgun. Deep over the middle. Has a man wide open. It's a tight end short across the 50-yard line. 32 yards. 49 yard on the spike to stop the clock. Second and 10. Pressure up the middle and sack. Jim Flanagan. him on the lateral and Notre Dame has the ball on the recovery. And this should do it. And the seniors of Notre Dame can start their celebration. When we talked with them, they said as seniors, it's been a great year. We were upset about the loss to BC, but we wanted to end our senior year with a victory on a high note with a big smile. And they have done it here. And for the Aggies, they played the game of, the, of their lives. They played an excellent game. There's no question. They played the national team for the years to come.